Today's video, I'm going to give you the easiest bunch of defense in Madden 24. Super simple. It will stop almost everything that people are going to be doing at a gun bunch this year. And it is in the dollar defense. Dollar is such a good defense this year. I'm going to be showing it to you out of the Kansas City Chiefs playbook. We're going to be using the play spinner. This is the best bunch defense in the game. If you want to get access to my full dollar defensive ebook, the link is going to be in the description below to sign up for my Patreon page. That's where you get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. Best place, in my opinion, to get better. We're always putting out content over there to try to help people become better Madden players. So if you are looking to take your Madden game to the next level, I'd really encourage you to check out the Patreon page. The play spinner is so good against Bunch because the five-man blitz is super consistent out of it. Okay, so uh, the setup for this is we're just going to pinch our defensive line. Now, if your linebacker on the left-hand side runs down like that, what you want to do is you want to click onto this defensive end, hit circle one more time, and then click onto him and just kind of slightly move him, and he'll kind of automatically go back into place over there on that side. Now, you have a little bit of a decision to make. It is kind of dependent upon if you want to send four or if you want to send five. If you want to send four, all you need to do is purple both of your uh, purple both of your slot corners. I like to manually press that outside third on the bunch side, and then that's pretty much all you really need to do. Um, the last thing you might want to do is shade your coverage outside. This will help against corner routes and then allowing you to kind of use her in the middle of field. And as you can see, this is the best four-man blitz in the entire game. Now that's one setup. Um, if you want, it, all of these setups are going to kind of be strung together, and they're going to be the same concepts. Um, there's going to be some slight variations within the setups themselves. So the next setup is if you want to guarantee your pressure and you want to cover the running back quick throws out of bunch. This is one of my favorite adjustments. What we're going to do is we're in the same setup, same defense, everything's the same. We're just going to pinch our defensive line. We are going to man up the safety on the solo wide receiver side onto the solo wide receiver. We're going to man up the solo wide receiver side outside corner onto the running back. This is known as the scissor adjustment. If you look to the left, it kind of looks like a pair of scissors. And then we're going to man up the blitzing slot corner that is on the bunch side onto the tight end. And what you're going to see is let's say they run you know, verticals. This is one of the best setups in the game for any kind of quick throw out of the verticals play. All you're going to do is essentially lurk the slot. So you see the slot on the crosser and look how fast the blitz is able to get home. Super, super effective adjustment concept for bunch if you want to send five. Now, the last adjustment that we're going to be showing you is if you're not really worried about the running back going out on a route, you're willing to use the running back, this is probably the best adjustment for Bunch if they are consistently blocking the running back. What we're going to do is we are going to go to the same play, but we're just going to pinch our defensive line. And then all we're going to do here on the right-hand side is one of my favorite ways to defend Bunch. We're going to take this slot uh, corner and we are going to man him up onto the circle receiver, and then we are going to cloud flat the guy that was manned up to the circle receiver. So you see this is what it looks like. Now off rip, if we see the running back go out on a route, we need to go user him. But if the running back stays in the block, we're just going to lurk the right side, and as you can see, a lot of times the pressure is still going to come in at the quarterback. These are some of the best ways to defend bunch. And the other thing that you could do out of that that I forgot to mention is you can feel free to do something like this as well. This is a great, another great adjustment for bunch. That hard flat is going to do a really good job of stopping any kind of wheel routes, quick throws. What I like to do if I'm running this cover three uh, third and, and doing all this, I love to shade the uh, the bunch side slot and the bunch side outside receiver outside just to help kind of defend the corner routes. If the running back comes out on the route, I know I got to get over there and help, right? But that shade outside, a lot of times you're going to be able to basically defend corner routes with the shade outside. That's the whole purpose of doing that, forcing them to throw the ball into the middle of the field. One other pro tip that I do like to do against bunch I really liked backed off man coverage. I think backed off man coverage is really good against bunch. Um, it just it just really does play the routes better in my opinion. So feel free to kind of experiment with just backing off these corners. I think it can be helpful uh, for your defense. If you want to get a little bit more aggressive, go ahead and press pinch your defense or pinch your defensive line. Press coverage. This is where again I would probably favor the scissor adjustment. Uh, and the reason why is because now what we're going to be doing is we're going to play this little bracket here on the right where we kind of scissor 
both sides and we're going to be able to take away a lot of flat routes and just a super aggressive man-to-man coverage defense. These are several of the best adjustments in the game out of Gun Bunch, uh, out of the dollar three two, in order to defend and more fully defend the Gun Bunch offense, which you know most people would say is probably the best offense this year. Guys, I want to thank you for watching this video, and if this video has been helpful, you want to take your Madden game to the next level, join the Patreon. The link's gonna be in the description down below. Ten bucks will get you access to all of my offensive and defensive evics, and I guarantee you that it's gonna make you a better Madden player by being in there. Just the ideas, the concepts, and then being able to apply them to your own game. Thanks for watching. To sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.